Right, so Darren, first and foremost, welcome back. It's good to have you back here at the Hive. Uh, one place to start, really, Scott Loach coming in. How excited are you to have him on board now? Really pleased to get it done and get him over the line. He had uh, one or two options in the league, um, but thankfully he's, he's chosen us and we've had a number of conversations over the recent weeks and you know he feels this is the right place for him to play and he comes in with a wealth of experience and he's a good size and brings brings one or two things that I felt we we needed um, in terms of experience and how we will organize the, the the back four around him you know and that's not being disrespectful to Mark I think Mark Cousins is an excellent goalkeeper and he was a terrific professional for us and even my time with him at Dagenham so you know, I, I thank Mark for his time here but we move on and Scott comes in and takes the number one shirt and we're really, really pleased to have him on board. You talk of his experience, is he one of those players that you will look to to be a leader in this group of players to sort of help out the younger players that you have on board? I would expect that with with the experience he brings anyway, but certainly having had conversations with him, you know, and, and the research I've done on his character and the type of person that he is, you know, he will he's coming here with with the intention that we all have and that is to have a successful season and, and he made that clear when we spoke. So, you know, and, and like I say, the, the the one or two people that I spoke to um, have, have said we've got ourselves a very good goalkeeper so looking forward to working with him On a personal note this you're heading into your first full season in charge how much are you looking forward to being able to shape your squad now within pre-season how much are you looking forward to being able to do that? Yeah I mean it's it's important that I put together a type of pre-season that reflects how we want to play I want to play with high energy I want to play with a uh, you know, and I want to outrun teams. I want to outpass teams. I want our fitness levels to to show in games, um, and this is hopefully how we've pieced pre-season together with the games and the, the the training schedules we have in place. And you know, one thing that I think was evident to everyone last year, we we played some really good football at times, and 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 at other times we played okay, but lacked quality in the final third to to win more games. So consistency is one thing that I'll be driving in, in pre-season as well as obviously your, your fitness levels and the, and the style we're looking to play. You came in last season and enjoyed some memorable moments with the club, the FA Cup run. How much have you learnt from your first year here and how much can you take into this season from that? The things that I've learnt are at the minute what I'm trying to piece together. It's been a slow process but you know I'm hoping that the signings that I bring in reflect where I felt we fell down a little bit last season. Um, but what I don't, what I'm mindful of doing, um, and, and my message to everyone is, I've got to try and look forward and, and be as positive as we can. I don't want to keep harping on about what's happened in the past, and you know it's it's gone now. At the end of the day, you know I, I don't want to keep looking back at the cup run and stuff like that. You know it's gone. It was great while it happened. But I'm all about trying to take the club forward and that's that's where I'll be coming from with the players. You know, there'll be one or two new little ideas in place, whether it be uh, during the week in, in training and some discipline areas maybe. You know, there's there's a number of things that we've, uh, me and my staff have discussed on how we believe we can take the club forward. But the biggest message is all of us being positive, being on the same page and trying to take the club forward. That's the aim. With the pre-season schedule just around the corner, a couple of weeks away, what are your immediate plans now? From now until then, what's the plan, whether that be signings or the training schedule? What what will you be looking to do now? Well, the training schedule was put in place within a week of the season ending. Um, we'd, we'd, we'd had a number of meetings and you know met with the players and give them some targets to reach in terms of uh, body fats and, and weight and etc. You know, just normal stuff, you know, that about maintaining fitness levels. Obviously we've had the likes of Wes and Efron and Jack Taylor that have played some football during the off season so their their training schedule might be slightly different. But you know the the, the training through pre season was put in place very quickly. Um, which will hopefully 
get us off on the right foot and it will be a good start to the season, which is what everyone will aim to do, but we're no different. You know, the aim will be to start well and, and build momentum from from the first day in pre-season, but certainly the first day of the season. And just finally, a couple of weeks back, we posted the retained release list. Just talk us through your thought process when making those decisions on who will be staying, who will be going. Some were quite obvious ones. Um, some of the young boys that I feel that have just been sort of, you know, with all due respect, kind of just hanging around the building for the last year, two, three years, whatever it is, you know, it's... And I had this conversation with him, although at the time it's probably quite difficult hearing that, you know, you can leave and you're not part of my plans and that. In a way, it might it might do them a favour because they can get out and they can play football. I don't like people just coming in with no purpose, you know, nothing to aim for at the weekend. Football's about building into something Monday to Friday and, and producing it on a Saturday. And I had, I had far too many players uh, that were just training Monday to Friday with no purpose. And it's and managing that them numbers was difficult. So we've managed to move on quite a few. There's still one or two that potentially could go. It's been a bit of a slow summer, mm. in, in, in all fairness. Um, you know, and, and where yeah. where we had such big numbers last year and there was quite a few signings last summer, it's it's restricted what I can do this summer but you know what my intentions are and have been is to try and make the two maybe three additions that can really make a difference. Mm.